All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this later. We have uh, Abzan Riches again. That's what I'm going to uh, call in this deck. Uh, we played this the other day um, with Revel of Riches and Rampage of the Clans, and we did really well with it, and it was, it was a lot of fun to play. Um, even Hawkeye is all excited about this deck coming up here to see what's going on. So we did not win any uh, any games with Revel and Riches last time, even though there was like two of them that we would have, at, at least two of them. But our opponents conceded. Um, but yeah, let's see if let's see if we can this time. So basically, what we're trying to do is just gain a lot of mana with the help of Smothering Tithe, um, and kind of just have more mana than the opponent is really good. And if we have a whole lot of artifacts and enchantments and things like that in play, and then we rampage at the clans and destroy them all and make them three threes at instant speed and attack them and kill them. Uh, Rampage of the Clans here was our best win con uh, last time that we played. And sometimes we just Karn minus and just made like a bunch of like, uh, you know, Karn Structs. And then like these treasures would make them even bigger. And we just have like some really big Karn Structs that was taken over. So sometimes that can, that can work too. So we got a lot of things to be doing here. Um, the sideboard wise, I'm, I'm not really going to be very good against like the hard control decks. Uh, I'm kind of kind of punting that matchup a little bit, and you know can't really beat everything. So hope we don't play against control decks. Uh, I have a sideboard plan for red in here with the Shalai, Angel of Grace, uh, Lyra. Um, so we got a, a real big sideboard plan for red. Mid range decks, we should be doing okay against mid range, so we're kind of good to go there. But. Let's go ahead and try this out. Revel and Riches. Smothering Tet's a, a good card. It's a, it's a solid card. Uh, the song's name is Down by Marion Hill. Marion? Should we make a Storm of the Vault deck? I actually, yeah, Storm of the Vault's like one of the one of the rares I don't have any copies of. Um, that's not a bad idea. That's a that's a cool card that I've never seen anybody try to play. What's the other one? Antiquities War. The Antiquities War is is something that I would like to play, but never have. Alright, deck, get us the lands. Like, just one more land, and then we get to activate Thalmatic Compass, get a fourth land. Um... But, you know, I don't mind that we're playing against red because of our, our sideboard. We have so much stuff in our sideboard for this matchup. And by so much stuff, I mean just all those angels. All right, so we'll have Kaya's Wrath next turn. Um, I hope our opponent's still playing some more creatures. You know, I just want them to play a bunch of creatures here. Hmm. Wasn't really expecting that creature, as far as creatures go. Yeah, maybe this is Wizards. Alright, we gotta get rid of that card. Might as well just use Contempt to use as my mana the best.
All right, back up to ten. With them only having two cards. Plus, if they if they do have experimental frenzy, we I like keeping mortify around for experimental frenzy. Also. Hmm. Second Rampage of the Clans, not really what we want. Let's see if our opponent starts paying two mana to keep us from getting treasures or not. Okay, no treasure for us. So I can play the land and then the Thaumatic Compass transforms. But I don't I don't know if that's really that necessary that we transform the Thaumatic Compass here. <clears throat> so uh just gonna just gonna kinda use it as a card advantage engine. They paid four mana. Do they need to pay four mana? And then next turn, I'll, I was planning on ticking up once and then starting to minus two, minus two a bunch. All right, Compass. Going to go and transform you. We've seen haste creatures from them, so... We'll have our uh, Spires of Horasco ready to go, plus our Mortify. All right, I need this treasure map. Opponent's not killing us. Hey, afterwards are gifting blue blur that sub for helping out with the song name. All right, sub number sixteen on the day, Hawkeye. Uh, Rampage of the Clans, this is our win con. Trying to make a true fire captain, star of extinction, combo deck at the moment. Nice. Right, down to four. I'll keep stop. Maybe I'll just rampage.
I'm just gonna rampage. Got six power on the battlefield. Hey Horatio, 12 hour stream's going pretty good. We got about two and a half hours ish to go. I guess it doesn't really matter. What I tap, I'm just gonna rampage again and make some more three threes. I guess un unfortunately I don't have I don't have lethal next turn. I should have minus two the Karn. I guess I guess we got the treasure map though. So I, I could Kaya's wrath and gain four life if need be. But then we're like you know forever away from killing them. I think I may do that. Let's do it. Hmm, maybe not. They're saying good game. Does that mean like good game? Like they probably just have lands, right? So if I if I Kaya's Wrath, I can make it. I make it make another creature token afterwards. Uh, they can be a three three next turn. You think I should do it? Gain life. So I really wish I had one more land. I wish I could play Treasure Map and Rampage of the Clans this turn. I don't think our opponent has Bane Fire at all. I wouldn't think that. Awaken. So I can I can make this thing a three three next turn, but I guess a two two does it. I mean, this is just going to give us more turns. You know, if our opponent doesn't, you know, like they have to draw eight points of burn. Even if they like. Yeah, use a little bit of burn to kill that thing. Make sure they don't don't just have four points of burn and finish us off. Next turn, treasure map can make a bunch of treasures. And then we can turn those treasures into three threes. Well chosen. just gave us Braska. That's weird. I make my own decision. The belligerent needs her crew. That's kind of weird. They just gave us Braska. See, they could have had both. Maybe they had a shock. Like last turn, they may have had they may have had one shock, and they drew this second shock. Maybe they would have killed us while we were at four, but us gaining that four life kept us alive. Certainly possible. Hmm. 
Evil cannot withstand a righteous army. Take no prisoners. Yeah, I guess I didn't scry at upkeep. I thought it was upkeep, but no, it wasn't upkeep. So I kept that car and was like, ooh, that's a good draw. Yeah, that life could have mattered there. Let's rampage again. Rampaging, rampaging's fun. Boom. Minus 10, put them down to one. That's important. What if I would have self ultimated and put me down to one and they just had a shock? Yeah, honestly, that we may have won that because, you know, we, we don't know exactly what's in our opponent's hand, but that Kaiser Wrath play might have won us that game. Very possible it did. All right, so if we bring in all the angels, unfortunately, we have to cut our cut the, the combo stuff, Rampage, Revel, and Tithe. Uh, that puts us down to 59. Absolution has to go. So we're looking at three duress then. Um, I think that's all I want. Or maybe a fourth duress over this Frasca. All right, looks good. Unfortunately, against Mono Red, we have to cut the cool parts of our deck, put in a bunch of angels. Well, Duress is a pretty decent card for us. I want to get to like five lands and have angels, and so um, that doesn't help us get to Duress doesn't help us get hit our land drops and play angels. Hey, what's up, Hude? Yeah, we had two final ba bosses matchups. Uh, wasn't really expecting either one with the Jeskai tokens or the Naya Legends, but... Got there. Alright, I'll keep stop. We gotta find angels, so... That's the plan. What do you think about the Terramander-style Drake decks? I've been pretty impressed with Terramander as a card in those decks. Um... There are certainly times when I play against those decks, though, that they don't have, like, hardly any spells, and so the Drakes aren't very big, and the Terramanders can't do anything, you know, can't uh, adapt. Um, so, the, yeah, there's... So I have seen that being a problem at times, but... Uh, I like Terramander, though. <laughs> I, I went to work, ate dinner, went to sleep, get up, and Todd's still going. We are here all the time. Not. So now if I scry on upkeep, I don't get to contempt or Karn or anything like that. All right, we are we are gonna go ahead and contempt. Sorry, treasure map, just just drawing. Shalai's not bad. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess we're playing Shalai. I don't have two black. I just played that planes. So we cannot contempt. I guess it's July time. No attacks. No attacks. 
Tilt. Do they have a shock? Oh, I remembered I was meaning to... Huh. I was meaning to... Reset the client after the last... Like, between... Between, uh... Leagues here. Thud. I can upkeep now. Upkeep scry now. Nice upkeep scry. I bet allow me to introduce you to a friend of mine. So next turn, uh Treasure map turns into three treasures. Um, so this thing's a 5-5, five, five, and then we minus card again, and it's a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, it, our opponent's playing a budget mono red deck. Yeah, real close to the beginner deck. Act of Treason. Taking the 1-1. One, one. Ow. That hurt. I did not get that upkeep scry in. Forgot to do that. Well, we would have drawn a land either way. Oh, oh so they're 5-5s. Five I, I had it wrong. Right, because the... the Treasure Cove goes away for the treasure map, right? Turns into Treasure Cove. So now even if they have like Banefire for four, we can Contempt. Uh, like our, our Karn. And gain two, leave our tokens out here. Yeah, our opponent could certainly win this. That's what they had. I think I need to hold one back. Um, oh, I should have just scryed first before. I could have just seen the top card before I make this attack. But I think I want to hold one back. Uh, with their haste creatures. Because the two of them together will still be 5-5s five for next turn. Ooh, Duress is good. Eh, wasn't that good. Don't kill me. All right. Oh, the Shalai was the very next card. Yeah. Good job, opponent. That was really close. Really close. Only won by that life gain from Brass's Contempt. Good thing we just put those Brass's Contempts in right before. But, to be fair, I... Yeah. So that was... Yeah, opponent did very well. Okay. Now can we win a game with Revel and Riches? We haven't done that yet.
Hawkeye, can we do it? Can we win a game with Revel and Riches? He's just looking at me like, no. Okay. I like it. We could have double Ethereal Absolution out. Have all of our opponent's creatures get minus two, minus two. I am playing some jank, DJ Poly B. I'm trying. I do have a lot of rares in my jank deck. Uh oh, mono red again. This is bad. I did not want to draw yet another six drop against Mono Red here. I mean, they're on a mulligan to five, and I'm still probably pretty dead. <laughs> all right, well, we're out of six drops now. We got all the six drops. Are we going to keep a three lander with, like, card and not get a fourth land? Come on, deck. Okay, got the fourth land. Start trying to find more lands. Our actions determine the core. A curious choice. <laughs> no, I can't have reveled riches. No. I do not feel pain. All right, yeah, they gave us the land and their bolting Karn. Those are both very good things for me. That's not a very good thing for me, though. Uh, Frenzy can certainly win the game for our opponent. We have Relic Seeker that kills Frenzy. All right, we got to draw this land and Relic Seeker the Frenzy. Which is certainly something that we could do. Certainly draw a land here, Relic Seeker the Frenzy, and then we're then we're in a decent spot. I won a game with 114 life and the other person had negative 340. Yeah, that's weird. That's those, that's a lot of March of the Multitudes tokens. Yeah, in the red matchup, we kind of have to sideboard out all the tights and tight tight related cards, unfortunately. Dang it, frenzy! Stop doing your thing. Uh You gonna pay two mana opponent? I dare ya. Didn't even pay. Infinite polyraptor polyraptor infinite mill combos. Not likely we survive this. You need I'll destroy all that you hold precious. Absolution could kill the firebrands. Like I could have just killed the two firebrands. Oh, 
Uh, let's hope they just only had lands in hand. Uh, I gotta keep one of these cards. Guess I'm keeping Nebraska. Yeah, that's what happened last time we, we played the deck, Dr. Muff. We, we went 5-1 with this deck, but we did not win with Rebels at all. There was a couple of times where I did not have anything to win the game on the battlefield at all, and I was setting it up to win with Rebels, uh, you know, like purposely, but our opponents conceded those games. And we didn't get there. Uh. We draw lots of lands. This hand can compete. We have a removal spells with cast down and mortify. You know, we just have to draw lots of lands. It's probably a better chance than a five card hand. Why is Dress not in the main if you put it in versus aggro and versus control? Because uh, those are the two matchups I bring it in against. I don't I don't bring it in against the mid-range decks. Against like Soul Tie. Dress is also the kind of card that gets better. Well, definitely punished for not just cast downing that thing. I was gonna see if they played like Runaway Steamkin to, to cast down. Light up the stage got me, got me pretty good there. Um, duress also gets better after sideboarding. After sideboarding, uh, it's people don't usually bring in lots of creatures usually. Um, I want to mortify. So, like, the value of the card is is more in sideboard games when people have more interaction with spells in a lot of matchups as well. All right, can we keep on hitting land drops? We've been lucky so far. One more, one more being lucky. Get the Karn in play. Oh, yeah. All right, we're not doing so bad. We have a card in play, and we're at 19. Evil must not be I'll make use of that later. That's not doing so bad. You are only hurting yourself. Played a sweet moist jun list at a local FNM, went 4 1. What do you think the potential four color decks in the metagame as red phases out? There could certainly be some more four color decks. Good choice. Yeah, I could I could certainly see that. Take a Frenzy, Wizard's Lightning, and Skewer the Critics. So 
I guess I'll take Skewer. So next turn I get to Angel of Grace, block the Steamkin. Hey, L hey Lud. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of, you know, not playing too much modern anymore. Um, I've been enjoying playing crazy stuff in standard, like this deck. Hey, what's up, Zach? And Jealous, 12-hour stream's going pretty good. We're getting real close to 10 hours in. 12-hour stream is going good. Esper discard with <clears throat> Thought Erasure, Disinformation Campaign, Bell Haunt, Kaya's Wrath, and Teferi. I can certainly see that being a way to take Esper Control. I like it. I don't want my Angel of Grace to trade with Steamkin. Because we're going to attack next turn for six, gain six life. They certainly could draw another burn spell to pair with the Wizard's Lightning to kill Dawnbringer, so it's it's not like we're... <clears throat> it's not like we're... Uh, definitely going to win, but they, they have one one draw step now. They have to draw another burn spell to go with Lyra this turn, otherwise they're very dead. But we'll see if they do it. You're losing at your LGS only to Blue Moon. Okay, cool. That's still, that's good. Yeah, I'm glad you're loving the stream. Thanks, Lud. Uh, to find the Jeskai tokens list, you can find it here, exclamation point dex. So there we go. Zach, I've only been playing best of three. That's all I do. All right, can we win game three on the draw? Ugh. Yeah. Can we get this third game on the draw? This is going to be a tough one. When the you know red deck gets to be on the play, our deck's really slow. So we're going to need Duress, Removal Spells, and Angels. That was what we had at that last game. Hmm. I think this is a keep. It's not, it's not great, to be honest, but... We have our lands. Ugh. And Treasure Map can help us out a little bit. Cleansing Nova, of course, is kind of slow. Thanks, top deck. No, I haven't done any rank stuff. Hmm. All right, we're gonna cast down one of these lava runners. Um, it doesn't seem like you win very much with the ranked stuff. Aw, uh, thanks, Leo. Yeah, Saffron does a wonderful job. <laughs> nah, I won't be in the, the Mythic. I won't be the top eight in the Mythic for the upcoming tournament. So yeah, our opponent only having like this one land gives us a chance for sure because it's going to slow them down quite a bit. 
If you could play two-headed giant with another player, who would it be and why? Um, I would play with... I'd play with Tom Ross. He is one of my all-time favorite players. I guess our, did our opponent just disconnect after only having one land? I guess so. He's very good at... Tom is just really good at like finding ways to win. He's really good at that. <laughs> no, it just means the next stream will also be tw uh, 12 hours if we get a 76 sub donation. Alright, so our opponent only missed out on one damage by that little bit of disconnect there. So it's not like, you know, it's it's not really killing our opponent here. They just missed out on one point of damage. Hmm. Yeah, let's play, let's play Karn next turn. We've seen our opponent really like to attack Karn. Which I think is good for us. We get to minus two, make a blocker. I have been awakened. So it's, you know, just like a... You know, we got like a 2-2 a two -two that puts this Planeswalker into play also. We're looking for Lyra, Shalai, something like that. That's a Lyra. That counts. Pick up. Are you certain of your decision? Kaya's Wrath or Thaumatic Compass? Thaumatic Compass. Um. Let's just kind of play this angel here. Pass the turn. Abzan Riches, 2 and 0 oh against the Red Decks. Two and 0. Oh. All right, we'll see if we actually get to Revel in Riches this time. You know, maybe we won't, maybe we will. Who knows? <laughs> Lyra is basically auto scoop. Okay. Oh, the opponent gets to go first. Lucky. Opponent so lucky. Getting to go first and everything. Well, the opponent went to six cards, so... I kind of feel like I should go to six cards, too. Alright, they kept their six. I'll keep my six. What are you doing with your top card? They went on top. Okay. All right. I, I can go top. We, I can match that. All right. What's your land game like? You got a swamp? Watery grave? Well, that is a swamp. Okay. 
Well, here's a swamp too. All right, match in. Yeah, that's that's a swamp. Swamp. <laughs> okay. I thought they were going to take treasure map there. Yeah, I was I was thinking treasure map was the card they're going to be taking. See if we can resolve another treasure map. Hey! Oh crap, it's Chris with the sub. Thanks, Yager, getting that gift badge. With the gifted sub. Thanks, Yager. And hope you enjoy the emotes there, Chris. Okay, so we'll probably just kind of be looking at each other a little bit here. Doesn't look like we're going to be doing too much. Do you think you can build a decent deck around the Kaya Planeswalker? I'm not sure. I think you'd... Maybe need like some kind of combo deck with exiling all their stuff, or like wanting to exile, or like you exile a lot of things. I'm not sure. Uh, 77, I guess, is where we're at there. That's a good card. Smothering Tithe. There we go, baby. Let's get some treasures. Treasure time. This is an engine here with these treasure maps. Uh, they're paying the two. Rude. Do we get a treasure? The opponent's so rude. Everybody's paying today. Nobody was paying the tax last time. How many cards can we draw with treasure maps? I have to use two treasures to play the Smothering Tithe. I don't think they have a counter spell. It certainly doesn't seem like they have counter spells. I'm gonna let's go ahead and waste two treasures, get this thing in play. No! They did have a counter spell. They weren't countering like the treasure maps though, which is kinda weird. Treasure maps are so good. Ugh, I just wasted Wasted two valuable treasures there. Yeah, second second smothering tithe here would have been insane. Okay, nice. They're down to two cards, but they have active as Kanta. Hmm. Mortify, you're a little late.
All right, there we go. I just wanted to hit the land drop. So they get to surveil four and probably bounce the smothering tithe, would be my guess. Yeah. Guessing they're bouncing smothering tithe. Yeah, that Smothering Tithe treasure token is the best treasure token art. <laughs> yeah, Hawkeye's the the real streamer here. He's my boss. He makes me go to work. He's like, that's right. He's like, hey, I want the I want the camera on. Go stream, and I'm like, okay, Hawkeye. It's working. So many treasures. It's working. The plan is working. Aha! The plan's still working. deck is awesome. Oh no. I have to be worried about that card. You were foolish to come. It is the ideal subordinate. All right, so let's look for a contempt. We can contempt the Tesseract. Eh, Karn's probably pretty good though. We can, like Karn minus, make a huge treasure token, or make a huge token thing. They of course have Eldest Reborn though. Hmm. Could also just say no. Yeah, I'll just say no. Nope. Yes. I don't know. This is a really good one to get back. See, I'm, I'm scared they have, like, other removal spell and then Eldritch Reborn to make me sack my Planeswalker and then, like, they get their Planeswalker back with Eldritch Reborn kind of thing. I think I just want to find Revel and Riches. That's a good card.
Don't make me discard. I learned a few tricks on Kaladesh. Activate Ascanta. Oh, baby. I think we got this. Opponent never expects the Rampage of the Clans, even though it's the very top card of my graveyard. They still never expect it. And they paid four mana for that Smothering Tithe earlier. Oh, I was going to have Revel and Riches. That's alright. That's still 21. They're at 20. Das game. Dude, Rampage of the Clans is sweet. Seven times three is 21. Learn that from Burn. All right, so Duress and Spyglass. Uh, that's the plan. Um, Nova's out. Two Kaya's Wraths are out. Uh, that's 64. Thaumatic Compass. So I do like how Thaumatic Compass can help us hit land drops. Um, I don't like. I, I like having like that removal spell to Dream Eater earlier. Maybe we don't need all of those though. And this card's cool against all their Thopter tokens and stuff. Yeah, Ethereal Absolution seems like it's really good here. Maybe a Chromatic Lantern. Yeah, I still have a couple of rats. Because they make a bunch of Thopters. Actually, I should probably be more worried about Thief of Sanity, I suppose. So I should get this, keep this other cast down in. All right. <laughs> should, can should have consumed at least 40 ounces of water to maintain hydration by now. I have not drank 40 ounces of water. I've drank probably around 30. Decent amount. Probably had like two of these glasses and a, a glass of hot chocolate. Spyglass down. Campaign Soot Contempt Dispersal. Alright, let's get rid of the campaign. Pretty surprised they took Spyglass. Honestly. Well, that Ritual of, sh ritual of Soot shouldn't do anything. Not really too worried about that one. Yeah, it's supposed to be if you if you play too long, then it's like this memory leak that's doing this lag here. And I've been on for over ten hours now. Another campaign. All right, I'm gonna name the Tezzeret. Artifice Master. Yeah, I, I do need a reset here. 
Have you noticed scrying the whole library with Ascanta makes it so you can't left click to open it all? Well, I, th I think whenever whenever you're scrying with Ascanta, I think there should be able to like there should be a view battlefield button in the top right hand corner and be behind where my camera is. Oh yeah, I love this. I love this. Yeah, draw some cards. Draw some cards. Thank you. Thank you. More treasures. I despise tyrants like you. Soon you will be left with Getting that campaign out of here. I expect them to contempt the Vraska. Yeah, unfortunately, Ethereal Absolution is really good, but it's not going to do anything for us. They don't have any creatures in their graveyard. Ooh, Karn's good. I am Karn. Hmm. Some solutions must be built. Five five. Six six. All right, you got me, opponent. We got a six six though. Seven seven. No. Any changes made to the Jeskai tokens list? Um, I think I talked about some stuff towards the end. You can, you can just. You, best thing to do there is you can go to the YouTube channel, um, and just watch like you know the last couple minutes when we talk about the deck afterwards. If you want, if you want, if you want to see that. Blood operative. I need my ethereal absolution back. And speaking of that, let me get this Naya Legends list up. It's almost ready to go. That one's ready to go. Shocking earlier has made this kind of bad for us. No counter spell. No counter. We're only 190 YouTube subs to the next 12 hour stream. Dang, we're so close. No counter, no counter, no counter! Uh. Yeah, we're gonna be able to exile it. Dun, 
All right, well, they still had the enchantment removal for it, but that'll do. Dead. All right, the little one one who could. I don't. So the daily prize with the daily prize, uh, it's only the one card, and if you already have four of that rare, then you just get the, um, then you just get uh, the gems. They don't they don't match the set when it's a daily prize. It's only they only match when it's um. Or they, they, yeah. So they only give you a different rare if it's a, a booster pack opening. All right, so there's Revel and Riches. So now we need 10 treasures. We're at six. All right, draw your card. Do you want to pay? Don't pay, don't pay. Give me a treasure. They paid. We need more smothering tides. Thank you, deck. What? Why would you negate this? Okay, thank you, opponent. All right, no pay, no pay. So we have our we have four lands tapped down from the opponent every turn. All right, we need more smothering tides. More tides. Treasure map? That'll do. That'll do. No, I, I'm not planning on doing anything towards Mythic. Alright, let's start scrying. Do we get treasures? Uh, Esper and Naya, I like those two more than more than Abzan. Uh, but both Esper and Naya, I, I like. Or sorry, I guess Esper is the one I like out of the most. Esper and Mardu, I like the most. All right, Karn plays. I'll take a Karn. They haven't really seemed to have counter magic, especially with just having one land untapped. This Karn can make some pretty big tokens. Evil must not allow me to introduce you to a friend of mine. Ooh, that card's good too. I think I'm just gonna say no attacks. Yeah, their card minus is to make a 1-1. One, one. Mine makes a 9-9. Nine, nine. So next turn, Vraska minuses to destroy their creature and makes a treasure and whenever one of their creatures dies we get a treasure so Vraska can minus and make two treasures relic seeker uh or, yeah so and then treasure cove gets to flip and make three treasures so next turn i think we can have revel the riches win if this happens we can potentially have revel and riches win next turn this next turn. Vraska? Hmm. Guessing all the time. So I have to use two treasures. I think it's still worth it. Yeah, we gotta pay. My 
My mission is more valuable than your life. I'm sorry. Were you using that? All right, so that gets us two treasures. We're back to six. I can sack a treasure. Some solutions must be built. I can sack a treasure to flip treasure map, but that's only nine. I mean, that's that's eight actually. Oh, give me give me one more. <gasps> We're gonna be able to do it. No, Apoto, let me win with Revel and Riches. Just go to my turn. Just pass the turn. That's all you have to do. We're gonna have the ten treasures. They just need to pass turn. I don't know if Revel has an animation. We never get to, to win with it. Everybody just concedes. I don't even know if there's an animation. Okay. All right, 3-0. With abs and riches. <laughs> Dude, our deck is sweet. We are crushing with it. Three and O with Abzan Riches. We are eight one in all time with this deck. It doesn't have an animation, unfortunately. Okay, that's what I think somebody said last time was that it did not have an animation. Also, and yeah, that's that's definitely unfortunate. Ooh, turn four Smothering Tithe. How fast can I keep? Rude. Okay, what's up? Okay. Come here. Come on. Oh boy. I think they're gonna Spell pierce this one. Oh, I didn't reset again. They spell pierce that also? That's so rude. I've had multiple spell pierces. Could have played around a third spell pierce, I suppose, by shocking. I'm hoping they're out of drakes. That's a really good discovery, getting rid of two lands like that. Real good discovery. Man, I wish I had that Smothering Tithe in play. Brasco Relic Seeker. What's our card? 
Rampage of the Clans. It's like the worst card that we can have right now. Not looking so good for us. If our opponent just did not... Like, if we would have had the Smothering Titan play, we could have maybe won this with the Rampage of the Clans, but... I guess we're just dead. Need to tick up and find two removal spells. I Are you certain of your decision? Nice. We got Smothering Titan play. You want to pay two? Ah, they're paying two. Okay, what do we play against Drakes? Drakes has got to be pretty tough for us. I don't have, like, enough removal. I guess I have a lot of sweepers. Let's bring in all these duresses for their counter magic. Oh, man, Thaumatic Compass is awesome in this matchup. Um... Ethereal Absolution doesn't do enough for us. We'll get rid of that. Get rid of one Rampage. One Revel, one Rampage. We have a lot of removal. We could be fine. No, Hawkeye was meowing a bunch earlier. He's not a mute. No. Um... Yeah, I mean, we could bring in, like, some angels to block. The blocking doesn't usually work out that well for us. We can certainly try. Hmm. So if we play angels... What am I taking out? Taking out a lantern? I guess Karn's not, like, the best card here. It's not bad, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, Dive Down just takes out Lyra. I kind of want to just, just do our regular plan. I don't think I need it. I want to try my regular plan. Maybe we'll play Lyra over Vraska Relic Seeker. Yeah, don't want to restart Arena during the middle of the match. Alright, let's make sure they don't have Spell Pierce for my turn 2 treasure map this time. Dive down, Disdainful Stroke, their own treasure map. One land? Even the one lander, huh? The one land optant. <sighs> Dang it. I was really hoping just to you know, I did want to upkeep Scry because I was I was hoping to hit the land drop where I could just play land, play Chromatic Lantern, and have Scry. All right, I'll I'll upkeep Scry. We can't we can't afford missing another land drop. Didn't I just put that on the bottom? Wow, this lag had me put that on top. Really thought I was putting that on the bottom. Yeah, I guess it just kind of like lagged. It didn't. It didn't go over as much as it usually does.
and you know I just did it quickly. I tried to put quickly put it on the on the bottom, and it just didn't didn't move. Good news is our opponent doesn't have a whole lot of lands either. Never mind. So we got to use a treasure to cast Kaya's Wrath. Get rid of those things. No land drop for the opponent. Don't have dive down available. No land drop. Nice. Okay. Land for us. Hmm. Well, I'll use a treasure here to get the chromatic lantern in play. I guess Lyra would be better than this Revel in Riches. Of course, Lyra would get Disdainful Stroke for sure. Though. How am I dealing with this Rao? Hmm. Decision time. I can wrath away the Drake. Dealing with this Rowl is going to be tough. Well, let's see what the wind blows in. So you can just keep that, keep getting them more drakes. Pretty bad for us. Hmm. Decision time.
Dang. All right, three and one, three and one. Match wasn't too close. Yeah, let's restart this arena. Yeah, we gotta restart this. It's it's way too laggy. All right, arena. But still, our deck's been doing pretty good. Ugh, it's been doing pretty good. Esper discard. I hate the Sinister Sabotages. Just don't really like that card. Just three mana for a counter spell. I'd rather that be Spell Pierce or, or uh, Dive Down to protect Thief of Sanity. Either one. Yeah, we need, we need more things to do on turn one and two. There's just so many threes in that deck. So many threes, fours, fives. You gotta have more things to do on turn one and two than just Discovery and Thought Erasure. Kind of like two mana removal, interaction. Yeah, get Sabotage out of the deck. All right, let's see. Yeah, Cast Down can work. All right, can we just get, we just gotta get this one land to get to Chromatic Lantern and we can kind of go from there. So it's kind of risky. We need to draw a land in the first two draw steps. But Chromatic Lantern fixes the mana. And if we get there, Kaya's Wrath should do a lot for us, so. Come on, land drop. First draw step. Not good enough. Danto Vanguard is a huge problem. I can't beat that card. Yeah, I can't really beat a Danto Vanguard. Hmm. That's a huge problem. Certainly can't beat two Adanto Vanguards. Basic planes. Six seventy nine. Yeah, I'm just taking taking too much. Hmm. I could honestly spyglass Vanguard. Oh, Absolution. That kills it. Yeah, I'll keep the Absolutions and then I can kill it. And I have one, one Spyglass in the deck uh, for that. They could also be playing a Johnny. But just, just the one Spyglass. All right, this hand looks a lot better. We can Wrath on four. Um, Karn can make some blockers. Try to get to this Ethereal Absolution. Mm -hmm. 
All right, let's get it done. Auto Vanguard's pretty good. So we got our first Wrath. We'll see next turn if we need to Wrath again or if we get to make a Karn Struck that can uh, just chump block the Vanguard. So do y'all have Super Bowl plans for tomorrow? I am... Uh, I am planning on... Uh, I'm not planning on streaming tomorrow. I'll be planning on watching the Super Bowl here at home. Yeah, yeah. I agree with Walkster. Y'all can just... Yeah. It's a... Different conversation for a different time. So, not one for the sports ball. Yeah. <laughs> I won't be putting on a football jersey, though. So we're taking four here. Perfect. Love it. Play another Vanguard. Just don't kill me with like a heroic reinforcements or anything like that. No. Uh, venerated Luxodon, come on. Stupid Luxodon. Alright, so we went 3 2. Why'd that last card have to be a Luxodon? Uh, I know, right? We had the dream set up. Killed all those creatures. Alright, we got 60 gems. And 1,500 gold. But yeah, the, the Abstand Riches deck is is pretty respectable as far as decks go. Uh, sideboard, maybe like there's something better to be doing than Shalai, Angel, Lyra. Um, you know, if you want to work on the sideboard of something else to do there. But um, it's pretty respectable. Ethereal Absolution hasn't been like incredible for us. That could probably be something else. But, but yeah, there we go. All right, so if you're watching this later on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Some Abzan Riches. I'll see you for the next video.